girls slap harder than you think. And oddly, the girls in this game don't even slap at all. So why is this game called Slap Girls? I don't know. But um, I guess they just needed a name. So uh, it's a 2D fighting game where there's beautiful teenage girls, anime teenage girls, where they supposedly slap each other. And most of the moves are the usual punches and kicks. There's some fireballs, kind of like Street Fighter 2 style. Um, the highlight of the game is really all the anime variants to me. Uh, so essentially they use all the basic character models for the fighters and then they just give rap sort of Barbie style, put them in different costumes and they then, well, they supposedly slap each other after that but, you know, I only saw punches and kicks and fireballs. So. Um, there's a decent number of stages, there's like the basic inside the house, uh, outside near a castle, uh, you know, usable, sort of the usual fare of uh, dance halls and diners, you know, etc. Like, they didn't stand out, but like, they're almost like play fighter stages, actually. Now that the thought occurs to me, like, it really, they're kind of like, without like the extra zaniness, I guess, just like random stages, I guess. Um, the gameplay itself, like, it's largely unrefined, like, there's, like, hiccups, like, frame rate hiccups or animation hiccups, I don't know what's going on, but it's not super smooth, and, you know, I don't expect it to be perfect or, like, Street Fighter 6 quality, but, like, I should be able to, like, brawl and, as the game says, girl slap, even though there's no slapping, like, you should be able to play this as a 2D fighting game, but it's just got, it's, it needs more polish, but it's like, I don't think it's even in early access, that's the craziest part. Um, yeah, so the game really, you know, the fighting animations are chunky, the, where the game needs more work before it's remotely playable for the average gamer. And I don't think that's a heavy criticism, it's just a fact. Um, so you defeat apparently every opponent, you start off with two characters to choose from, and then you go through all these different characters that gradually become available to unlock up to 14 characters, which is not bad, but like, there's no bonus, like there's no, um, even if you beat the game, you don't unlock anything, like there's no real reward system, unfortunately, with this game, which I guess if you're just having fun, like I was reading stories of people having fun just playing this for, you know, giggles, but anyways, uh, there's no lines, there's no dialogue, there's taunts or otherwise, um, special effects, like just everything seems generic, the sounds, they all have the same sounds and it gets, apparently it gets confusing if they're the same character because you can lose track of which character is you. Um, so yeah, the, it just really hurts the game's personality unfortunately and there's like apparently clipping issues with the clothing, the hair and apparently the women fighters like their breasts become inverted or something I didn't really see that I didn't play it long enough to like so to see whatever the heck that was going on but um, I encountered a glitch I did an uppercut to the second character the witchy character and she kept hovering up 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 and like the game just <laughs> she got stuck in the top right corner like a helium balloon which is hilarious I even took a, a snap photo screen grab of it and then there was another glitch where both characters just froze for no reason so I pretty much had to go back to the character select just to continue playing so yeah there's there's glitch bugs the animation is not finished um, so the game goes for 649 but between like the animations not being smooth and like playable and for a non early access game of glitches it needs some serious work before it can be taken seriously um, instead of like a professional fighting game entry, this game feels like a demo or like some school project that, you know, they're still working on, but hey, this is the latest build, so try it out for me, please. And yeah, the game's currently, you know, it's supposed to be silly, but it's currently like worth two bucks and nowhere near like the 649 they're asking for. Um, and yeah, there's no reward for unlocking characters, being the game, whatever. I'd say it's a 3 out of 10 because I played it for like less than 5 minutes because maybe 7 minutes, I don't know, it was a really short playthrough and yeah, just all the characters have the same moveset, just different outfits, so to me, like I don't know how 
I read one dude said that he'd been playing this for like hours with friends for just fun. I was like, yeah, I'd have to be pretty, pretty hammered to just play that for fun. Um, yeah, I'd say it's like wiser to slap yourself silly than pretty much to play this game. So keep on slapping yourself. Yeah, keep slapping yourself. Keep on gaming. Bye.